first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to look at the design rules and I've got a link right on my web page and you can click on it under the assignment and it should bring you right to the design rules. So if you look at the design rules, there's nine design rules that you need to look at and each of them are right here. They're not numbered. Um, so just need to run through them and figure out what they mean. Okay. Uh, for example, the, the first rule is sometimes simple is better. And that means that you don't have to have a complicated advertisement or design to make it good. So what you need to do is you need to open up your web page, your um, Google site, and you need to go to your digital art page, which I'm on right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this layout right here and drop it in. And you know what I want to do is I want to bring this, I'm going to put this all the way up at the top. Um, I also want to put a text box. I think I want to put a um, title here and I'll put, um, you know, you might even want just to put the title of um, the assignment. That might be best just to do that. And I think I can make it a little bit bigger heading. Okay. So unit 4A using Adobe Spark design rules. Now I've got nine rules and I've only got three boxes here. So what I'll do is I'll drag this in two more times. So I have nine boxes here. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to figure out what is my first rule. Okay. So sometimes simple is better. So that is the name of my rule. And I'm going to come back here and put it in here. And you can just abbreviate this. You don't have to put exactly the rule, but you can abbreviate it. I don't need this little text box down here. So you probably can just delete that. Okay. Um, so now I have to find an advertisement that simple is sometimes better. So let's take a look. We're going to go to Google Images. I want to just put like a magazine ad. And I'll look under images and then I'm going to look at some magazine ads and I want to look for something that just, just simple. It's a good, clean, simple design. And, um, most of these, um, some of them are kind of, you know, complicated and there's a lot to it. I want to find something relatively simple. Now, here's a good one example right here. So it's a pretty simple ad. There's just mostly negative space around here. One image in the middle, just a little tag up here. So I'm going to make a copy of this and I can do that by doing a print screen or I can save the image, whatever works for you. And um, I'm going to take this copy and I'm going to put it on. Oops, let's try that again. There we go. And put it on there. Okay, so sometimes simple is better. So let's take a look at the next rule. Okay, have a dominant object as the main focal point. So um, I'm going to abbreviate that a little bit. Have a focal point. How about that? That way I don't have to type up the whole thing. So I need something, an ad that has like a focal point. And so we were looking, this actually would work because it has a big focal point, but there's not much to the ad. So maybe I want to look for something a little bit different, um, maybe a little bit more going on. And I mean, there are several of these will work, but I'm looking for a good example. Something that really has a good focal point, but has some other things. Okay. This might be a good example here because the shoes are the focal point. So I'm going to do a print screen of this and I'm holding the shift command four, but uh, because you have a Chromebook, you might have to shift control. And then there's a little button at the top with a square and a couple lines by it. That's what you want to um, select. And so this for bands is a pretty good one here. And now I just want to take that and put that in place. So there we go with that. And um, now I need to go on to the next one and you need to do all nine. Okay. Once you're done with this, what you want to do is make sure that you publish your page, click publish. And then when you're done publishing, click on this little chain link right here and copy the link. And that link is what you're going to turn into Google Classroom. OK, 
Okay. That's what you need to turn in. Don't send another document or anything like that. Just copy that link. So make sure you publish and click on the link and copy that link. And then that's what you turn in on Google Classroom. So do the rest of these. Got to have nine total and um, turn those in. And that is it. So I will see you guys next time. Yeah.